Yo, what is going on, everyone? Welcome back to the Zen Lounge. In this video, I'm going to be talking all about liquidity pools coming to the XRP ledger. We'll be talking about how the Sologenic team are helping with this and how they already have some amazing design ideas for the XLS30 integrations. What XLS30 is going to bring is liquidity pools and automated market functionalities that anyone could utilize and benefit from this system. If you hold XRP, XRPL based tokens, you can provide liquidity and be incentivized for doing so. So if you could do that, also think about this, the big players, the big banks also have financial incentives to provide liquidity and earn in these public pools. And according to David Schwartz, this is kind of like his end game vision. And then I'll show you the tweet in a moment. So here's what these liquidity pools look like. So you need two tokens to enter a liquidity pool. XLS30 does have a solution to make this super easy and user-friendly so anyone can participate in this DeFi. But you can see there's different pools like XRP Solo, XRP USD, Solo USDS. And this could happen very quick. If you watched my previous video, Sologenic in their roadmap has XLS30 as one of their priorities. So if you want to be a liquidity provider, make sure you study up what liquidity providing means and you have to learn about impermanent loss and uh, you know the risk and rewards for providing liquidity to pools and what you need to look for so on to new things let's look at david schwartz post so this has been their vision for a very long time we're watching a master plan be rolled out so david schwartz personal vision for xrp since 2013 or so with this idea of deep open public pools of liquidity that anyone anywhere can contribute to and draw off of a global market for assets. Uh, let me show you the next post where he calls it the secret sauce. So currently this is not live on XRP ledger. You can't do this. It was proposed on June 30th and uh, it's on developer net now, but soon once the XRPL validators voted in, um, I don't see why they wouldn't because David Schwartz here says for the first time he reveals this is June 30th. For the first time, David Schwartz reveals the planned secret sauce, a continuous auction mechanism that incentivizes arbitragers to burn liquidity tokens and arbitragers soon, sooner, more accurately, and more frequently increase the benefits to liquidity providers. You could be a liquidity provider if you hold XRP or Solo or any XRPL token. You could even see in this, they have Solo EQ, XRP Equilibrium Games, and I believe that you could probably create your own token. This is like going into speculation. You could create your own token on their IDO launchpad and you could create your own liquidity pool for your own token. So there's healthy markets. Um, Mikey B. Fresh says, uh, Joel, he was mind blown when Joe, Joel Kaus announced, he called it a masterpiece. Cleverly uh, utilizes XRPL, uh, Basically, let me just show you the video from this clip. So I'm going to take a pause real quick. I'm going to show you the clip of how David Schwartz explains how this whole mechanism works. And then I'll be back on the other side. It should reap as its own profit a significant fraction of what the arbitrage would make. So, so the pool charges for arbitrage rights. And it does it using its own liquidity tokens as the currency by which you buy these arbitrage slots. And it destroys them when they're paid to the pool. So arbitragers who want those arbitrage slots have to acquire liquidity tokens either by putting money into the pool or buying them from other people. And then they, they're destroyed. And if there are fewer liquidity tokens outstanding, the value of each one goes up because it's a claim against the assets of the pool. Now, another thing that happens is volatility. So external prices change, right? The price of XRP changes, the price of Bitcoin changes. That means the value of the assets the pool holds changes. And that drives up both arbitrage or activity. There's only an opportunity to arbitrage if the price is out of whack. One source of the price being out of whack would be changes in the price. But also natural ledger activity, people making payments and offers. All of these things trade against the AMM instance and the AMM makes a spread. But there's something else going on that's almost more exciting which is volatility is harvested by the automated market maker. Normally volatility just results in risk and a reduction in yield. But here it's a gain in yield. The automated market maker actually implements a trading strategy that converts volatility into yield. And if you think about what an automated market maker does, when the price goes up, it sells, and when the price goes down, it buys. 
That strategy, if you imagine, if you hold Apple stock and the price goes up and you sell and then the price goes back down and you buy, you make a profit. If the price goes down and you buy and the price goes back up, you make a profit and you sell, you make a profit. That's what an automated market maker does all day long. In addition, the automated market maker leverages the XRP ledger's inherent advantages. The XRP ledger has very, very fast transactions. The XRP ledger has very, very low transaction cost. These are things that will drive up the revenue and the efficiency of the automated market maker. So if the price of XRP goes up or down and then it comes back in just a few seconds, if you were on a blockchain like Ethereum, there's no way that you could harvest that volatility because your transactions take several minutes to confirm. There's just no way that you can make that work. But because it is so fast, the trading algorithm can convert yield, uh, convert volatility into yield much, much more. I hope you guys enjoyed that video with David Schwartz explaining the mechanisms of the liquidity pools on the XRP ledger. I am personally very excited about this feature coming. But now let me shift gears. Let me talk about Sologenic real quick. Because you can see the plan has been this year uh, to focus, you know, bring a lot of awareness to Corium Mainnet. Make sure Corium Mainnet launch goes smooth and successful. In my opinion, they've been in the shadows making a master plan for solo because they have so much coming in auto nino this is my intuition auto nino proves it with this post we do not want to steal the thunder from our mainnet launch on march 24th once we have launched our Marquarium mainnet you'll start hearing more frequent updates on our license and pilot now look at the sologenic roadmap now look at what they have it's like a storm getting ready to be unleashed there's a whole after Corium mainnet, I think there's going to be a domino effect. You know, XLS30 coming, tokenization pilot coming, IDO launchpad coming, big solo listing coming per Fabio, debit cards with MasterCard coming. Like so much they have ready to go. And on top of that, you know, license announcements. And we just saw what Solo could do. If you guys didn't see, Solo did a 20% pump without any of these, without any of these. I was like telling, I was talking to some friends, imagine Solo, it went 20% for no reason yesterday. Imagine if like the Binance listing comes or an actual real announcement comes. The way the tone, tokenomics are, Solo is the only token uh, that I'm aware of in the big leagues that's actually deflating right now so bitcoin's not even deflating right now bitcoin is still inflating i heard that from average john and that really just blew my mind so um that's really all i got for you guys today uh check out zen lounge validator finally has its own twitter page follow zen lounge i'm following everybody back zen lounge validator i have my own twitter page now let me read this real quick so i'm gonna read from the polygon the global head of institutional capital at Polygon Labs, five ways tokenization will solve traditional finance biggest issues. So here's what he says the five ways are. It's going to help level the playing field, access premier financial services to um, basically more people, uh, greater liquidity. XLS30 helps liquidity on the XRP ledger. Uh, cost savings. It's going to help people save money, more transparency, fractional ownership. All the stuff that Sologenic's working on, and this was by NASDAQ, you know, tokenization is one of the biggest stories of this year. Um, that's all I got for you guys. I did have a cool post. So going back to the liquidity pools, what I believe would be the master plan is to set up, you know, you're able to provide liquidity. My page. So you provide liquidity, wouldn't it be awesome if the rewards were able to directly go into your basically your Sologenic debit card and then you don't need to ever sell. You just provide liquidity to uh, the markets and then you earn rewards and they go directly into your wallet that you could use anywhere in the world. Debit card or the future is probably QR code based, right? Like debit cards will probably be out of style eventually. They'll kind of be like novel or like an antique. I think the future is going to be QR code. I personally want a debit card just for the whole feel and look of it, but you kind of see what the vision would be. You provide liquidity, you earn rewards, and then you're able to go use your rewards 
whatever do what you want with it that's kind of like my end game vision but remember do not ever take financial advice from me this is not a financial show we we talk about updates news research information happening with tokenization solo nation etc so everybody have an awesome day i do have a new nft i'm going to leave you with a clip i'm in the process of minting solo assassin number two uh, solo just pumped. We silenced the critics, silenced the futters. Again, solo assassin number two with the nine millimeter silencer with a full collection is going to be minting on the Sologenic decks uh, this weekend. I have some more updates. Go to my Twitter page. My Telegram page is free to join. Join my free Telegram page. It's awesome. And be on the lookout for the NFT mint. Uh, these typically sell up very fast. And the resale market is pretty hot. So uh, good luck for anyone that's able to mint the solo assassin silencer. Uh, the solo silencer, the solo assassin silences all his opponents. Everyone have an awesome day and peace.